time once again for Mind Over Money, the much-anticipated weekly broadcast by two of today's professional internet marketers involved with My Lead System Pro, Leland Best and Julie Becker. With their fresh insights, you'll discover that it's not so much about the money as it is the mind over the money. So with that being said, let's move on with today's topic for discussion. Today, Leland and Julie are joined by the SEO legend and firewalker, Rob Four. Straight to you from Carson City, Nevada, Rob discusses with our team the importance of mindset and what a 100-day challenge can do for your business. Let's tune into the show already in progress. Do it again. Oh, yeah. You get a, you get your team members plugged into that kind of stuff. And it just creates that momentum, you know. Doesn't it, though? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, where are you coming from, Rob? Where I am uh, in Carson City, Nevada. Oh, okay. All right, well, it looks like we're going live anyway, so let me give a shout out to everybody out there. Um, for all you out there on Google, this is Leland Best, and along with my co-host, Julie Becker at Mind Over Money, we want to welcome you to the show today, and we've got a special treat for everybody out there. We are talking with the SEO king, you might say, out there on the internet, showing his face on Google's front page all the time, uh, Mr. Legend himself, Rob Four. Hey, Rob. Thanks for coming. Hey, how you doing, Leland? Fun stuff. So I, I'm just thrilled to be here. So let's uh, let's make magic happen. We will do that. We will do that. Um, for all you out there, if you don't know Rob, he's uh, kind of one of those folks that really puts the spear in SEO, and he's a member with us over at MLSP. Has a couple of products in the back office that do wonders when it comes to marketing yourself in blogging or really just creating any kind of home-based business out there for network marketing. Uh, two in particular are his predatory SEO and his posting for profits products. So um, by the time this show's over, you'll have at least some information to go find those particular products for yourself if you want to get involved. So from here, we're just going to kind of go uncanned, everyone. And, and Rob, if you could, just to start, um, I know you back in the day when you were in your late 20s, uh, things weren't so, you know, peachy as you might say as they are now. Uh, what I've read on your blog in the past is the fact that at 29, you know, you were kind of sleeping in the back of a pickup truck on some uh, mattress you found on the side of the road. You want to tell us, you know, what it took you to get to where you are now? Yeah, you, you know, that was, um, you know, I was one of those guys that most of my life I I, I just felt less than. Um, you know, I had a low self-esteem. Just I was just one of those guys, and so I did a lot of drugs. I did a lot of alcohol. I did you know a lot of damage to my body. But and this sounds kind of funny now, but I was actually arguing for being a functional addict because I always had a job or a business. We always paid our bills, and so you know, for all intents and purposes, I was doing okay, even though I was an addict. Well, back when I was 29, my wife and I actually owned a dental supply business, and there was a worldwide latex shortage. And one of our biggest sellers were latex gloves. You know, uh, AIDS was just becoming a big deal. And so I made the very brilliant decision to buy two boxcar loads, trained boxcar loads of gloves. And I did it at the top of the market, which then fell like the next month. So now I'm trying to sell, I bought the gloves for $18 a box, now we can only sell them for four. And that literally uh, made us bankrupt and we lost our house and did all that. And so because of pride and ego, uh, I sent my wife off to live with her folks and I literally slept in the back of a truck on a urine stained mattress I found on the side of the road. So it was kind of like a self-inflicted punishment and it literally took me about five years to get off that pity pot. It's like I blew it, you know, failure sucks. And um, so for five years, I just kind of felt sorry for myself. But then eventually, I had a family to take care of. So, you know, we reestablished credit, bought a new house, got new jobs, and just kind of went from there. You know? Yeah, it's you know ironic that you mentioned that because I can openly admit I had a serious drug problem when I was younger also. Um, and actually, not even so far in the in the recent past, uh, I lost employment back in 2007 with an engineering firm that I was working for. I was a civil design engineer for nearly 25 years, and when the market changed and everybody just forced a lot of people out onto the streets, I was one of those. And I took up DJing and got into a crowd of folks who I really probably should have stayed away from. But you know, I yeah, went well, it's one of those things. I you know I think most of us. Um, you know, we have these hurts, habits, hang-ups. We have these 
events that happen in our life. And if we look backwards, uh, it can get depressing sometimes, you know. So, you know, I, I went to the bottle. I went to drugs. It was an easy escape. Um not such a smart thing to do, so we don't do that anymore. <laughs> right. Right. Yep. And I do my best to make sure that people out there realize it's a no, it's a no win situation. So, well, um, well, it really is because when you hide, it doesn't matter. When you come up out of your stupor, guess what? You're still stuck with yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's much better to get in, figure out how, what you need to do to heal yourself to to grow in a better path, and, and it works out. You know. So how did you find how did you find yourself doing network marketing after the whole rubber glove incident then? Well, you know what happened with me is I had to be honest. Uh, you know, I had a family, my wife and uh, my young son, and I had to be honest. And again, I was at the time I was arguing to be a functional addict. It's like okay, well, I'm doing what I do to got to pay the bills and feed the dog, but I also had to be honest and go if I keep doing what I'm doing. I'm eventually going to end up in a hospital, institutionalized, or in jail. So I was putting my family at risk. And so I thought to myself, well, what can I do to create a passive residual income that would continue to come in independent of my physical presence in case I did end up in the hospital, an institution, or jail? And so I really did it to um, protect myself from my family. They say, uh, you know, you're a danger to yourself and others. Well, I was okay with being a danger to myself, but I was not okay being a danger to others, if that kind of makes sense. So in my warped thinking, I got into network marketing to protect my family. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So then what actually happened is we actually started to have success. Now, this is about 10 years after going bankrupt. I had actually... Uh, uh, we had another business at the time. We were selling websites for real estate agents. We were making quite a bit of money. And uh, I was going to get key man insurance, life insurance, uh, because I was really the business. And so I had to go in and get a physical done. They did blood work and x-rays and all that kind of stuff. And they came back, and the doctor basically cleared his throat, and he says, I'm sorry, but you've got cancer. You've got two years to live. You may want to get your affairs in order. So at that moment, my brain changed again. It's like, oh my gosh, now now I'm actually sober. But it's like now I'm actually gonna like die. This is gonna suck. So I wanted to, uh, and that's when I got serious about network marketing. We were already in, already in a company, but I hadn't made it work. I'd only sponsored three or four people, and you know it wasn't really working. But at that moment, in my mind, I had two years to create financial security for my family. So at that moment, for whatever reason, all the petty excuses that I'd been wearing all of my life, like a, a comforter, went away. And my critical emotional reason why became much more powerful than all those excuses. And within 18 months of getting in and getting busy, we had turned that network marketing business into a six-figure business, which we still have today. We have a team of 11,000 in uh, that company now, and it pays us very, very well. Awesome. He, did say, he did say 11,000, right, Julie? Yeah, 11,000, yeah. Go ahead, Julie. I'm sure you've got plenty you want to ask me about while we're here. No, well, um, for people who don't know, I actually got involved with uh, online marketing and online business uh, via Rob Four. He is my mentor. Um, so he is the one who brought me to the table and I'm I'm so extremely grateful for that. I'm um, just just uh, I was on the webinar the other night. I'm like, pinch me. This is so cool. <laughs> the stuff that's going on right now. Um, so I know uh, I've 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 been all over his blogs and been on uh, been on hangouts with them and and uh, eating up all the information. So um, I do. But I want to uh, you know let people know. Um, you know we are um, working on a, another venture together. We don't need necessarily talk about our, our primaries on these shows here, but uh, one of the things that we do focus on is my lead system pro. Um, which is a great, just a fantastic lead generation tool uh, for getting leads for your network marketing and, and other uh, businesses. So that's, what, that's actually 
Um, I'm working on another uh, business with Rob, and then I got actually entered my lead, lead system pro through him, um, and it has been phenomenal. And that's of course where I met Leland. We actually went ahead, and um, you know, one of the things that struck me uh, when I got involved with Rob, and I had to had to work through some stuff too, but you know, <laughs> I was on one of those hangouts, and he said, "You know, go big or go home. What are you doing?" What's all in for you? Is all in? If all in is is twenty five dollars. All in is twenty five dollars. If all in is you know this, then all in is that. You know you got to put your skin in the game for you and decide you're going to do it. Because if you don't decide you're going to do it, and this is true, and we know the mindset, and it is true. If you don't decide you're going to do it, then you're a hobbyist, and nothing's really going to happen. Nothing uh, spectacular, anyway. So then I, I um, my Elite System Pro launched their mastery product, and this was just really soon after I'd gotten involved with it, and it just stuck in my head, and here comes this 100-day business builder challenge, and in the back of my head, Rob is saying, do it big or go home. <laughs> <laughs> You're planting so, seeds, Rob. You're planting seeds. That's right. Went, planting seeds in bountiful <laughs> gardens. It, well, it it really it really is. It really is, and that's one of the things I love about this business too. I mean, you uh, for people um, who aren't, I can't imagine who isn't familiar with Rob. But if you aren't yet, um, he's got an incredible mindset, you know, which he passes on to us and the people that he touches. And it's a really that is so. So important. I mean, um, you know, and and he's really been so helpful with helping me with my with my discipline too. You know, the discipline to, you know, be consistent and 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 and, and wait for your good things. They're coming. Just because it doesn't happen in, in overnight, which it it really never ever does. It's faster for some people, slower for others. But you know, you have to be consistent and and diligent and watch and it will happen and, and it is happening the, the, <laughs> the faucets are turning on so that's really exciting but um, I wanted to Rob ask you I know I've talked to you a little bit about, about this but I wanted you to, to give a little bit more information to our viewers and some of whom may have just be seeing this for the first time getting the information about my lead system pro for the first time I, if you can just tell people, you know, how you went ahead and got involved with it, because I like this story, and also let us know how uh, the mastery membership has has hit your bottom line too. Because when I talk to people, I'm 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 really focusing on, you know, this is here's why you need to really look at the mastery membership. You know, at least go gold. You know, give yourself a chance to be successful and really get the most out of it. Um, so if you could give us some. Uh, at, information about that that'd be great yeah uh, you know thanks so much for sh uh, sharing all those wonderful things you're almost making me blush here <laughs> good thing I got lights otherwise I'd be all red but you know I had built our network marketing business to about 5,000 people maybe 5,000 6,000 people doing it the old-fashioned way which was kind of funny because I, I had a business on the internet but I never connected the dots. I go, how do I build my network marketing and using the internet? So I had built it by chasing people down at the mall, buying genealogy lists and picking up the phone. I'd pick up the yellow pages and call real estate agents. I mean, I had built it this hard, miserable, sucky way, you know, but in a five-year period, I'd, I'd built a team of 5,000. Well, most of the people on my team were saying, Rob, you know, we really love you and everything, but uh, your way sucks. We want to build it on the internet. And so it was really funny because I had never connected the dots. I go, well, yeah, we could probably do that. So I searched around and I fa actually found three programs at the time. I found MOSP and a couple other programs and I signed up for all three of them. And within two weeks, quit. All three of them confused me. It's like, I don't know what the heck you guys are talking about. I don't get it. You know, I'm scratching my head going, I don't understand, and I quit all three. Now, that was back in 2009. In 2000, and my team keeps picking on me. So in 2010, August 2010, I find MLSP again. And this time, I said, you know what I'm going to do is pull up my big boy pants and go figure it out. Not for me, 
because I got a big team already, but for my people, I'm going to go figure it out. So I got in and I immediately went right to the leaderboard at MLSP. And this is a list of the people who at the time were generating the most leads and signing up the most people in MLSP. For those of you who don't know, MLSP is really a training platform designed to teach you and your team how to generate lead traffic, leads, and sales online. Whether you're trying to promote a network marketing business or an affiliate marketing business or sometime a home-based business or even your own product, doesn't really matter which sandbox you're playing in. Uh, the reality is if you want to grow your income, you need to understand marketing. And in today's world, internet marketing, social media marketing, you know, the iPhone marketing, all that kind of stuff. So I literally got in and I just studied what the top producers were doing. And quite often they were doing stuff I didn't understand. It's like social media engagement. What the heck is that? But I stuck with it and I literally just did whatever the heck they were saying. They had a step-by-step -step, uh, thing where, you know, start here, do this. And I just followed the instructions. Within 90 days, I had created my first 800 leads on the internet, and I had sponsored 12 people into my network marketing deal, and it made $4,000 in commissions. It was like, whoa, I still don't get it, but it's working. You know what I mean? So it, it was kind of cool. So here it is, two and a half years later. I am currently the number two producer in MLSP. Now, what that means is over the last two and a half years, I've generated about 19,000 leads. I've personally sponsored over 1,000 people in my network marketing deals without ever picking up the phone, meaning these 1,000 people either called me and said, hey, I'm ready to join, or they sent me an email that said, hey, I'm ready to join. What do I do now? And so, I, so it's been a blessing because I haven't had to work as hard. Even more important, and I probably shouldn't say it, well, I'm going to say it anyway. We've done over $300,000 in commissions from MLSP in two and a half years. So that's a six-figure income no matter how you slice that pie. And, and we've sponsored over 1,000 people in our primary, and we've generated over 19,000 leads. So those leads have gone on to buy other programs or other products, so... My association with MLSP, I would have to say, at minimum, has been worth over a half a million dollars. Yeah. And I so, think so, yeah, let me share. So in the beginning, it was gold. Gold is the first level where you can actually make a commission, and they give you some tools and some additional training where you can make a commission. So even if people don't join your team, uh, your primary network marketing team or whatever it is you're promoting, uh, you can still make a good cash flow. Well, about three months ago, I guess, is when they launched Mastery. Um, up until then, I was doing about 12000 a month in MLSP commissions. When they launched Mastery, the very next month we did 20000 and now it looks like it's working out to between sixteen and 18000 a month. So probably, what, 25 30% increase. Just, just from awesome. mastery. That's and when you say, bam. Bam. <laughs> bam. Yeah, no, really good stuff. Yeah, and I think a lot of people, Rob, don't tend to realize that even though MLSP is really just a funded proposal and it's not a business opportunity, <clears throat> excuse me, that, you know, just in the lead generation tools and products they provide for those who do sign up for the gold, platinum, or mastery levels, especially the mastery where you're dealing with the 100% profit product, uh, you know, you can work your tail off as hard as you want at the, the lower levels, get into the academy and get the understanding of the system, but really all of your efforts are, are put back onto that simple precept of the affiliate link border that is the 30% margin. So uh, if you go and jump that extra mile and really put that in investment into yourself, knowing that it costs a little more money, but the fact of the return possibilities, the ROIs that are, are available to you in the back office of MLSP, like you've just stated, you've made nearly a half a million dollars in the last few years working with MLSP alone. And that's 
just because you have that value that you can bring to the table in front of your your main proposal. And I just yeah, it's kind of crazy if you think about it. Half million dollars, and it's not a business opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Yeah, but but yeah, the big the big thing is I do. If, if anybody uh, knows what I do, I blog. I blog and I get my content to rank on the search engines and so I tend to generate what I call free traffic. Now it wasn't really free because I had to write the blog post, I had to put in time, effort and an investment in the tools to get it to rank. But there's another model out there called social media. There's another model out there called paid advertising. You can do advertising on Facebook, you can do advertising on YouTube, you can do advertising on the search engines. Well, paid advertising works very, very fast. But the challenge is, I mean, you can literally run an ad and, and start getting leads and signups within hours. The challenge is most of us are promoting programs or network marketing program that has a very tiny commission up front. You know, it just takes time to build a big business. But when you join something like MOSP at the mastery level and you earn 100% pure profit, from products that range from seven dollars all the way up to four hundred and ninety seven dollars now you have something that you can promote using paid marketing because it can cover not only cover the cost it can put a profit in your pocket so just yesterday I was actually working on one of my own products which is called posting on purpose for profit which is a forty seven dollar deal um, if I sell that I get a hundred percent pure profit. If Julie sells it, she gets a hundred percent pure profit. All forty-seven dollars. I don't get a dime. Now <laughs> I don't understand how that happened, but that's the way it works. And so we all collaborated where you can make big money. Well, I just ran a a paid advertising campaign yesterday, six hundred ninety-five dollars to run about four thousand hits of traffic to that offer. Now I'm looking to where see I couldn't have done that with my MLM because my MLM if I sign I would have to sign up like 20 people to get my money back and it's a $500 deal. This is a $47 deal. You know, so we can actually make a profit, generate leads and just blow it out the door. Last month I was promoting Michelle Pescasolito's product which is all about Facebook. You know, she's created a six-figure MLSP income which is not a business opportunity, but she's created this six-figure uh, income in MLSP doing nothing but Facebook ads, nothing but. So she sells a product back there called Social Media Mastery, $297. If you sell it, if I sell it, I get $297. Michelle doesn't get a dime. You know, Julie sells it. If Leland sells it, 297 bucks. <laughs> so I ran a little paid advertising routine last month that cost me 250 bucks. We made nine sales. Now think about that: 300 times nine, 2,700 bucks minus 250 is about a 2,500 dollar profit. Sweet. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, sweet. And it's like, and so what am I going to do this week? Probably the same thing. <laughs> now, we're on that topic right at the moment, Rob. Can you give us an idea of what your ROI is like as far as uh, sign-up percentages when it comes to running solo ads like that? I mean, are you getting 8 to 10% or, or what are your opt-ins looking like at that rate? Yeah, well, with MLSP in particular, uh, my conversion rate is 11, a little over 11%. So if I get 11 leads that opt into MLSP somewhere, uh, one of them is going to join at some level. Mm -hmm. Now, my lifetime of uh, customer value, per se, prior to mastery, I don't know after mastery, I haven't figured it out. So prior to mastery, which gave me a 25 to 30% increase, prior to mastery, my lifetime value was about $184. Mm -hmm. So basically, for every 11 leads, I pocket $184. Mm -hmm. So in my mind, I just need to figure out if I want to give myself a raise, how do I get 11 more leads? You know, very, very simple thing to do. And the leads will, and that was just for MLSP, so that, that doesn't count the income you're going to make bringing them into your primary business, your primary network marketing deal, 
selling them additional tools or training or affiliate products that doesn't take into account any of that. I mean, my m m motto has always been lead prosperity leads to prosperity. You build a list, heaven forbid, the, your entire world could fall down. Chicken little, the sky is falling. We could start from zero, and if you have a list, you'll pay your bills and feed the dog tomorrow. Building a list is critical. Yep. And I think there's other aspects to that, Rob, that we can touch on, and not just the list building in general, but there are a lot of other avenues that you include in your marketing practices that not a lot of people have ever even considered. And I know, you know you're big on narrow linguistic programming, and you've taken the time, the effort, and the money to, to really sink in to yourself and invest in yourself what you need to do to become that kind of marketer that not only knows the, the the strategies that are out there, but you start to get into the heads of your potential prospects and, and you kind of understand their mindset and you understand what it takes not only for yourself to develop your own, but for the people that are out there who are the buyer types that you can kind of read them and, and you know how to, how to deal with them. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got involved in the whole NLP thing? Yeah, well, because I had um, you know low self-esteem and I kind of felt less than most of my life, and I you know I just found that it really wasn't being fair to the people who loved me, cared for me, and everything. It just was creating challenges. So many many years ago, I bought a book called Unlimited Power by Tony Robbins. Read the book, started going through it. It's like okay, I need to if I want to grow my income, I need to grow myself. If I want to heal myself of drug and alcohol addiction, I need to grow myself. Physician, heal yourself. And that started me on this path of personal development. And there was a part in there that just baffled my brain. He says we have these unconscious, beyond our conscious awareness, beliefs, disempowering beliefs that are holding us back. And we need to fix them. And my brain has gone, well, if they're unconscious, if I don't know they exist, how can I fix what I don't know exists? And so I went on this huge search to find that answer of what, you know, I can't see the skeleton in the closet, but supposedly it's there. How do I find it? And that's what took me into neurolinguistic programming, uh, different healing things. Then what I realized along the way is even though I had spent most of my life self-isolated and self-medicated because I thought I was so different than everybody else, what I realized is no, I wasn't. We all have our own hurts, habits, and hang-ups. We all have issues. And the best thing we can do is to uplift and encourage people to live into all of who it is they already are. So that really became not only to heal myself, but to offer that gift of a smile, of a tear of joy, of a hug, some kind of uplifting and encouragement to others. And that's what I like to do now. And what I found for a lot of people, unfortunately, is lack of finances destroys their family. You know, it just they start arguing and bickering, or they feel less than, or especially if you're a guy and, and you got to bring home the bacon, and instead you're bringing home tofu or you know whatever. You know, it, it just creates challenges. So sometimes we have to meet people where where the need is most critical, which might be financial. So let's get the financial house in order. And my belief is, and this isn't to turn into a religious conversation, but my belief is God speaks loudest in the quiet times, whoever God is to you. And if we are so consumed with the minutia and mundane of daily life, if we are tossing and turning at night, going, boy, I hope I don't have a flat tire because I can't afford it. Oh, gas keeps creeping up. How am I going to afford to get the work? I have too much month and not enough money. How am I going to buy clothes for my kids for school so that they're not embarrassed? When we get all this, this crap going on, how can we grow and be peaceful uh, spiritually, emotionally, things like that? So quite often we, we got to meet 
at the financial level first. Sometimes we have to meet them at the emotional level before you will allow yourself to make money. That was me. I was a self-saboteur. I had this hang-up from being a kid where I only had deserved so much. So once I got to that level or started to exceed it, in order to be the good kid, I would have to self-sabotage. And I realized that was a pattern that was going on, and I had to grow past that in order to grow into an income that my family deserved. So I don't know what started that that uh, soapbox, but I'm done now. <laughs> You're fine, and that's it's why a great talking. message. Though. It's a great message for people because you know, and, and that's that's very true, and that's why you know, Rob and other leaders, and and that's why I tell people, and Leland tells people, you know, to to read some of these books, and and because your mind, you have to mind your mind because you can't have a positive life with a negative mind. It's really important, and what you tell yourself, your mind believes. Whether you believe it or not, that's the reality. What you tell yourself is what your brain believes. So, you know, you have to be very conscious of the thoughts and, and the, um, the things that you put into your mind and the people that you surround yourself with. So um, I would encourage people today, if they're watching this uh, video um, and thinking about, you know, can you make a change in your life? Can these people really help me? Can this system really help me? The answer is yes. If you want to change your brain and your life, you absolutely can do that. And this is a the MLSP is a great vehicle. Vehicle. If you want to go from here to here, all you need to do is get on a vehicle that gets you there. And 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 bring some and bring bring some great friends for the car ride. So you got the vehicle and you've got the great people for the car ride. <laughs> you know, well, that's absolutely right. You know, it's it's one of the things I heard a long time ago. It's lonely. There's a lot of room at the top, but it can also get very lonely. And that's what happens is when you get in, you get busy, you start uh, making more money and living a different life. You find that a lot of your family and friends, the people that are kind of in your inner circle, uh, don't necessarily follow or keep up. And so you find yourself getting ever more isolated, which is kind of bizarre. And then, so you need to hang out with people at the same income level, the same belief level, or even people that are going to stretch you to be a little bit more. You know, I've had Julie, I've had Leland, you know, call me on my crap going, well, you're playing a little small, aren't you? It's like, what? But we all need that because we can get comfortable. We can be comfortable yet miserable in mediocrity mm -hmm. you understand you know so we need to get around people that will encourage us forward despite ourselves I love what you said mind your mind I, I love that I'm gonna have to well, that's like I've always taken away your little 3h adage of you know hurts habits and hang-ups that you know we all have those and we can't deny it if at some point in our lives we think we don't have those things then we've kind of elevated ourselves to a position that we really don't exist in so um, <laughs> yeah well that's exactly right I actually meditate every day and I, I was teasing uh, some friends of ours uh, who didn't necessarily know that I meditate every day. And I said, well, I'm going to have to get a bubble wrap hat because I'm starting to levitate and I don't want to hit the ceiling. And she's looking at me like, are you serious? It's kind of funny. <laughs> I was like, no, I still got the hurts, habits, and hang-ups. <laughs> and, you know, that's, I think, one of the big things with the folks, like with this 100-day challenge that we just went through, Rob, that – uh, Justice and Adam put together for us over there at MLSP and we just now have a new group starting out and I hope some of them are out there watching this live today because um, they have to understand that you know here Julie and I are sitting with a gentleman who's been able to earn nearly a half a million dollars through MLSP itself so you know if you're out there sitting on a fence wondering you know one why you didn't get into the next challenge uh, um, two or whether you, you know honestly you have till midnight tonight folks if you guys want to take part in this whole process of, of changing your mind and getting your business up to a level that you've been waiting to get it to then, then this is your key opportunity to get over to MLSP and sign up for you know what we do with this program is this is really a, a conglomerate effort through 
um, the process that we've put together for Mind Over Money. This isn't just to promote ourselves as a network um, broadcast. We bring some of the greatest network marketers on the network marketing scene out here whenever we can possibly to talk about mindset and goal setting and getting you know some profit on the, in the process. And what we do is we provide links down at the bottom of these broadcasts so that you can decide who out of anyone that we have on our show, whether it's myself or Julie Becker, my co-host, or, or someone like Rob Four, if you want to get involved with them and what they do and what they teach and have them become one of your mentors in the process, then all you need to do is follow the links that are attached to this video and move on with your life and, and get to a place that you can be. Anybody can do this. It's really just a matter of following the plans and the programs that have been put in place by people you know, years ahead of us. So. Um, I just felt that needed to be said when it comes to mindset that you know we can't deny the fact that I wasn't in the perfect place just a few years ago and you know now I'm back Nobody to where is. I feel I need to be. Well, yeah, There's well that's no right. It's never place. gonna, yeah, it's never gonna be perfect. We're never gonna know everything. Um, you know, this is something I had bought a, a car a few years ago, one of those hybrid Toyota Priuses, half gas, half battery, and. For the first time, I owned a car that had a GPS system, you know, and you put in your destination and then it tells you how to get there. Well, what I discovered very early on is it will not course correct unless you're moving. If you're sitting in the parking lot, it'll never tell you what to do. If you're sitting still, there is no way to course correct and put you on a path to success. You have to be in motion. If that motion is to click the link down below, Go get involved. Trust the leadership. You know, you, you trust Julie. You, you trust a Leland. You trust a Rob for to blaze the path. See, what you can't see is because we're all sitting down. But we all have machetes strapped to our hips. And we have went on. through and blazed the path for you. We chopped through all the bushes and the brambles to figure out the path of least resistance so that you can just go in, follow the simple step-by-step -step instructions, and get it done. But you have to give yourself permission to do that. You have to give yourself permission to put on the big boy, the big girl pants, and do it again, and do it for reals this time. Do it for reals this time. Not the, I'll give it a shot, I'll try it, it's probably a scam. Get over it. Get in, get busy. We have lots of proof proof this stuff works and like I say go big or go home why why keep hanging around and joining things and pretending to do things and wearing your excuses like a blanket why keep doing it when it's just making you miserable either get real and say okay I'm gonna do I'm gonna feel uncomfortable for a moment because everything new is uncomfortable Anytime we got to learn something new, we got scratch your head moments. We got to figure it out. I'm going to do what's necessary. I'm going to do what the leadership is telling me. I'm going to feel the fear and do it anyway, which is going big, which is going all in emotionally, spiritually, financially, or stop kidding yourself, cancel everything, and go be happy in your job. Yep. Right. I mean, literally, stop kidding yourself. Put yourself at peace. You know, if you if you keep playing around, this is what happened to me. Very sad, tragic, but true story. I was one of go those guys that would buy everything. I would buy every, how to get rich nine hundred numbers, how to get rich in network marketing, how to get rich picking your nose watching TV. I would buy everything. <laughs> you do that really? I didn't yeah, know. You really, you could do that. Yeah. I never Cheers. took action though because I thought it was kind of gross. But then one, and I would always do this stuff and never do anything. So I was the classic, join it, read it, go, oh, that's a great idea. Probably won't work for me. And I would not do anything. And I was doing this when literally my wife and I couldn't afford it. And one day she came up, and Lisa, my wife, came up and said, when are you going to start doing something versus buying something. She, she just said that to me the other day out there in the living room. I need to know. <laughs> yeah, and, it, and, and for whatever reason, when she said it that day, I heard it. And what I heard was, feel the fear. What I heard was completely different. I heard, feel the fear, do it anyway. Because I realized the only reason I wasn't moving forward is I wasn't comfortable.
I had to learn something new. And I personally had fear of failure and ridiculousness. I didn't want to look ridiculous. Well, then I had to decide for myself, well, being broke and playing this facade of joining things, not doing anything, was really even more ridiculous, wasn't it? And so I had to make a decision. I'm either going to get in and get busy or give it up. And I made a decision to get in and get busy. And for the first time, I actually bought a thing. I followed the simple instructions, which weren't simple for me because I'd never done it before. But within 18 months, went from zero to making a six-figure income just by allowing myself to be uncomfortable. And, and it worked, and things have never been different. So that's what I mean by go big or go home, really. Because my spouse was looking at me cross-eyed for 10 years, going, when, how many trips around the mountain are you going to continue to make? How many trips around the mountain? You know, and finally one day I had to realize, well, you're absolutely right. I either need to grow, suit up, show up, and grow up, or get out and stop playing around. Yeah, and I'm just going to touch on that for a second, Rob, and then I'm going to let Julie take over for a minute. I, I'm going to actually run backstage for a sec. But um, the thing that I note in that, and I've heard you say this before, like when it comes to quitting smoking, I mean, either quit smoking or quit quitting because it doesn't do you any good to sit there and keep saying, oh, I'm going to quit tomorrow or I'm going to quit next week. Or, you know, I, I quit for a couple of days, but, you know, this isn't going to hurt. So, it's the same thing going on up here that's that's stopping you from quitting in the first place. And I think, like, with this, you just mentioned that it took 18 months before you saw this huge expanse of income. And yet, I think the big problem some people tend to forget, or I should yeah, say, you can bail, buddy. That's a, you can bail. Yeah. Well, not only that, but I think the fact that you can't stop going in the direction you're going and the minute you stop and think that you're gonna fail or you think that it's not gonna work for you is that one moment in time where your breakthrough is right around the corner and you gave up too soon so I, I hate to see people do that so yeah um, with that yeah, said Julie I'm gonna shut off my camera for just a second okay. I gotta take care of something in the back scene and you go ahead and talk to Rob for a second I'll be right back with you guys. okay yeah that's one thing actually that um, again it's it's Rob in the back of my head here and for people watching the video if you're interested with, with working with any of us um, I'm gonna ask you to do yourself a favor before you even um, click that button say to yourself I'm going to do it until. That's Rob again talking in the back of my head. You don't say, I'm going to give it six months. I'm, I'm going to give it a year. Because you're setting yourself up and out. And why bother? Then don't click the button. Because I don't, you just don't do it. Until you can say, you know what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to do it, and whatever your until is, until I make $1,000 a month, until I make $10,000 a month, until I make $100,000 a month, because you can keep raising your bar, give yourself, give yourself that gift. Because then, I mean, we are all really going to be able to, to help you immensely, and you're going to be able to help yourself, and you're going to be able to take these tools and take this platform and, and explode it. So... If I could say anything, it would be that. And again, that is that again, again is compliments of my mentor from Rob Four because I'm surrounding myself with with him and with other people, and that's him in the back of my head, and that really has resonated with me. In fact, I think when he when he said that, I think is when I when I upgraded to the max levels in my businesses because it was a go big or go home, and you know what, do it until. I can't. I personally put myself in a position where I could not quit. It would just be stupid to quit. It wouldn't make any sense. So I removed. I removed the the escape hatch. And you know what? That that's freedom. It's freeing. It's actually very freeing. Absolutely. Yeah. It's um. It, it's pretty incredible because. I was at an event oh, a month ago or something, and this 12-year-old kid goes across stage and shares how he made $12,000. So, 
Then I have a guy on my team who, uh, his name is Dominic. He's 87 years old. He's had three strokes. He's blind. He can not He can see for like 15 minutes a day, a very narrow window of sight. And he can only type with one finger because everything else is, is kind of messed up. And he got in, you know, he's old, 80-something 80, 80 years old. And he called me on the phone one day, and he's an old sailor guy, so he's cussing and swearing, and every time he can't get something to work, you know, it's a 10-minute tirade on the phone. And so one day he calls, and he's cussing and swearing, and I'm waiting for him to take a breath so I could go, well, hey, Dominic, what's up? And, you know, what challenge are you having today? And he goes, I just made my first $1,600 online. I just called to thank you. And this was after this 10-minute tirade but it wasn't really that was really how he expressed excitement I guess just cuss about everything but so I've seen 12 year old kids get in and make money I've seen 87 year old blind guys that have had strokes literally cry going for the first time in my life I'm making something happen so you, so as you share Julie you, you do it until see is the, everything that we do with MLSP and these other things is a skill you can learn. If you can read, in fact, you don't even need to read. If you can listen to a dang video and follow the instructions, click your mouse, click, 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 and peck it out the keyboard with your finger, you can build a business. If, if and when you give yourself permission to do that, you can do that. And so to say, I'm gonna do it until is a very easy thing to do if you're willing to grow to that because most of us again are comfortable yet miserable being mediocre it's comfortable being we're often comfortable being where we are you know? I agree and even sometimes I get uncomfortable nowadays you know when it comes to certain aspects of building my businesses because I run several and I'm doing what I can and I've even created a couple just recently but can you tell me, Rob, and, and those that are out there watching, you know, how much of your day is spent in full action on mode, you might say, or in production mode when it comes to keeping your business running? Now that I know you've got it all structured over the years, you know, how much time freedom do you get with what you have set in place? I, I know you've got a lot on your table, but obviously you did this for a reason. That was to spend time with your family and to spend time outside uh, in the world doing what you want to do. So, you know, can you give us an idea of what your, yeah, your daily actually, operations are like? Yeah, it's actually 100% up to me uh, now, which is um, which is freedom. You know, it's just freedom. But my uh, when I first started with MLSP back in August of 2010, the second time, uh, I worked every day for 90 days. I literally put in two to three hours a day because I had a learning curve and I needed to apply what I was learning. So I call that the 90 day grind or like the 100 day challenge. You know, for that first 90 days, I just focused like a laser beam and literally put in three to four hours a day, seven days a week, and I created that momentum to get it going. Today, I, I get up early. I get up about six o'clock in the morning. Uh, my family wakes up about 7.30. By about 8 o'clock, I'm done. My, my day is done as far as my daily marketing routine um, that I do, again, by choice, just to keep it going. You know, so I post to my Facebook. I might do a new blog post. I might cut a video or something. And then the rest of the day, I can do whatever the heck I want to do. So I just made a personal thing where I'm going to move my business forward every day, unless we're on vacation or traveling or something like that. And it's usually an hour, hour and a half, and, and that's it. Then if I go on what I call production mode, I want us to not only maintain what we have, but grow my income. Um, then I may put in you know, all of three to four hours a day, or I may go into a two-week mode where I'm putting in full eight-hour days and just like, in fact, just this morning, Lisa, and Lisa was out planting flowers in, in the backyard, and I and I found out we're having this event coming up for another program in July, and it turns out that for me, because I'm one of the the top income earner dudes, I need to be there for eight days, for eight days, so I'm going to the backyard so I could wine. 
going, it's like eight days. That's like like a job. Oh. You know, I you know, you know, I make you know sixty thousand dollars a month from this thing, but I'm whining about showing up for eight days every three months. <laughs> <laughs> How crazy is that? Wow. Wish I could say that, but I know yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. You will. I know, and I know. That's, and that's what Lisa was saying. She goes, you're whining about having to work eight <laughs> days every three months. Boy, you're kind of a spoiled little brat, aren't you? <laughs> Rob, I guess I can say then you're not really a busy guy today, but um, I know we don't want to take up your whole day uh, on a talk show, which honestly I, I want to uh, – I'm just so happy that you came on today because it, it means a lot to me getting a chance to finally get to meet you and, you know, just the opportunity that it presents for those who might have questioned this whole 100-day challenge that, that's coming up with MLSP, whether they should or shouldn't and, and what have you. I, I think so, it's one of the most powerful things that people can do is when a 100-day challenge is offered, when it's, when it's presented to you, when I did it, I self-did it. You know, when I joined, there wasn't a 100-day challenge. I just made a decision for 90 days I'm gonna do it every single day and and the also the other thing that I decided was I'm gonna do it every single day for 90 days I'm not going to look at the results in fact I am not even going to expect results because I'm learning and applying and I'm just starting but at the end of 90 days I would look at the results and then make a decision if I would continue forward or not now that wasn't See, I learned the until after that. I'm going to do it until after that. Back then, I still had this little weasel clause. Today, I don't encourage anybody to have a weasel clause because we know it works. So stick with it until. But I made a decision. I'm going to do it every day for 90 days. I will not quit, but I can whine as much as I wanted. So I did. I would just whine and go, this sucks. I don't understand what's going on. I don't get it. But I didn't quit, and I kept going for 90 days. Today, I think joining a 100-day challenge is one of the most powerful things you can do because, one, you're hanging out with the leaders every day. We tend to work harder for other people than we work than we do for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Think about maybe some of the people on the call have done a home-based business before, and I guarantee you, unless you've had massive success, you kind of did it sometimes. And you probably didn't do it that much, and it probably didn't work out for you, yet you showed up at your job every single day. You worked harder for somebody else than you did for yourself. Well, when we go on a 100-day challenge, we're being held accountable by the other leaders. We're being held accountable by our own team members. If I join a 100-day challenge, do you think I'm going to quit on day 19? Not if I have team members on there because it would make me look like an idiot. So, see, it's going to propel you forward. And I promise you, if you put in an honest effort for 100 days, you'll be able to write your own first-class ticket to success to any level you want because you'll have laid that foundation, that potential for profit. You'll have learned a new skill that can take you anywhere. I build my business from my laptop. That means I can be on an airplane at 30,000 feet. I can be on the beaches of the world. I can be sitting at the DMV line for three hours and still be making money. You can do it from anywhere. Uh, Lisa pulled out her little iPad thing. We were at, in, in the store shopping for carrots or something, and she's building her business. It's like, it's crazy. You can do it anywhere. Well, Julie, while, while we're at this point, uh, I expect if you've got any more questions you want to throw at Rob before we let him go about his business, um, now would be the time, and then uh, we'll just kind of give our hats off to those out there who stuck around through all this, and we'll move on to the next show for next week. So, and No more questions for me. I'm, um, I'm just real excited for, for some of the things and the work with works with some of the other uh, – with uh, some of the other things that I'm working on with Rob. So um, if anybody's watching uh, this video, I, of course there's lots of people watching. I, I always say that because when, when we're recording, it just doesn't feel <laughs> I know, it's kind of funny. When I, you're watching yeah. this video, you know, and you, you're, you're thinking about, um, even if you're, you're hesitating about clicking that button, I'm going to um, encourage you to, to, to at least go through the, the capture, capture page and enter your information. Um, regardless of whether or not you decide to join, you know, connect up with us. You're gonna, uh, 
get uh, information back from us. You will get emails from us or potentially a phone call. And, you know, pick our brains a little bit more. That's fine. You know, if, if, if you need just a, a little bit more information or want to talk to us, a, talk to us one-on-one -on -one in person or send a couple of emails, um, you know, do that. Go ahead and do that. Uh, all of our links will be, for, be below uh, this video, and you'll have access to that. So I encourage you to, to reach out. Our hands are reaching out to help you. And we're gonna, and we're gonna, we're pull, we're 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 here to pull you up. We're here to to lift you up. I mean, this is not just. I'm not just in this business to help me. I'm in, it, 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 and, and neither is Leland, and I neither is Rob. We're here to help you. That's what's so cool about about what we do and what we're involved in because we we do live, pay it forward, truly. So if you want to do that for yourself and for other people and you want to do it online and you don't want to have to chase people around, you want to figure it out, you can do it from the comfort of your home, I encourage you to just just go ahead and uh, grab grab arms with us. We're waiting for you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's it's pretty incredible. In fact, I was on a hangout kind of like this the, the other night and we had like 1,800 people on the hangout. And I never thought about it this way, but they were talking to the old school guys that were used to doing home meetings. Mm -hmm. They said, this is really just a 2013 version of the home meeting, except when was the last time you had a home meeting where you could have 1,800 people in your living room? It's pretty, pretty right. crazy. Absolutely. So we have technology today that makes the pain of building a business a whole lot less painful. Mm -hmm. And, and that's the magic. We can get in, get busy, not be as embarrassed. I mean, I call it pain-free prospecting. All of these tools, all of these systems, MOSP, makes it pain-free. And just give yourself permission to do it. And next thing you know, we'll be walking the beaches of the world together, drinking pina coladas with a little umbrella. <laughs> I love the way you put that, Rob, because I, I don't ever want anyone here to think that we're untouchable. Um, you know, Rob himself being one of the six figure earners over at MLSP has just opened the doors to, to really anyone that wants to work with him. He's always been that way. And I, I just can't say enough for what MLSP has done for me and my business. You know, it's, it's once you can hurdle past that whole mindset that, you know, you don't have any value to bring to the table because once you've gotten involved with the training that we have available over here, you create more value for the rest of those folks that are out there in network marketing than probably 90% of the people who say they're network marketers. So um, I, I can only recommend that if you are looking for someone to team up with, you come on by and get a hold of us, and I'm just going to make it easy for everybody. You know, you can find me over at bestatlast.net or lelandbest.com. Uh, you'll be able to find Julie Becker at her website, which is igetpaidonline.biz. And if you want to look up Rob Four, you can find Rob's blog over at blog.robfour.com, or you can just look him up under robfour.com. So um, from all of us out here at Mind Over Money, I want to, again, uh, on behalf of my co-host and myself, Rob, thank you so much for stopping yeah. by and spending some time yeah. with us. We really appreciate it. And thank you. It, we will be looking to have you on the show again in the future. We'll give you a call. And anytime you want to put your face out on our cameras, just let us know. We'll be happy to, to plug into you. So. Yeah, it'll be fun stuff. Yeah, thanks so much for giving me a call. I'd actually, I knew we had this going on this morning. I'm totally spaced it. I was right. doing something. I don't know. Here's <laughs> hey, space right. yeah, we got this important thing. <laughs> well, from all of us at MLSP and Mind Over Money out to all of you out there hanging out on Google with us today, we want to thank you for coming by. We will see you on the inside, and we'll meet you at the top. So take care, everybody. Have a great day. Cool. There you have it everyone. Thanks for tuning in today with our host Leland Best of Best at Last and his co-host Julie Becker of IGetPaidOnline.biz along with their special guest Rob Four, who you can find at RobFour.com. Please take a moment to run through the information we've provided for you below this video and don't hesitate to get in touch with either of our members that you may feel would be a good fit for your goals or business needs. They would be happy to hear from you. Also, don't miss out on the MLSP 100 Day Challenge and kickstart your business today. You can find all of the details below. 
So from all of us here at My Lead System Pro, see you on the inside and meet you at the top.